Who would dare predict the outcome of this derby in North London? Two teams who don't particularly like each other. You never know what to expect. Stay tuned. We'll bring you all the action from North London as Spurs face Arsenal. You never know what to expect when it comes to a North London derby and that's what we have to look forward to today here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is next to me ready to provide expert analysis. Stuart, what should we look forward to? Well, I think we're going to get a good game. The atmosphere is always hostile whenever these two teams meet. Let's just hope the players can put that to one side and give us a great game today. They're two very good teams. It's a very attractive match in prospect, and it's Tottenham Hotspur who get things underway. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Hume Min Son plays with Lucas on the flanks. And so many different ways to... Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. A Spurs free kick it's going to be. Now the referee electing not to show him the yellow card, Stuart. And I think it's the right decision. It is a foul, but it doesn't deserve a card. And a goal kick given. Well, we're focusing on a player who just seems to get better and better, Hyung Min Son. What do you expect to see from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. And fed forwards. Played in low. Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Might really be able to trouble them here. Deflected behind, corner forthcoming. Oh, big chance! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the ball rolling again, with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Oh, Son. And taking it away. Well, that is how to run at defenders. But they took care of the situation defensively. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? All hands on deck. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. And will it be the leveller? Still alive. Partey. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Oliver Skip. Emerson. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Not the pass he had in mind. And breaking at pace with Menace. 
And back with Partey. Dangerous looking attack. And here's Partey. Sloppy in possession from Arsenal. And getting close to the half-time interval with Spurs holding the advantage. Stuart, interested to know what strikes you about their performance. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Oh, showing excellent vision. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Arsenal down by a goal, but maybe a chance with this set piece. And they deal with the threat this time. Must be! And look at that! A goal here for Arsenal, who now have got themselves on terms. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Half-time then, here in the English capital. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first-half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Lacazette. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try to take the lead. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. In it goes. Coley converts it. Well, here it is again. And the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. So the ball is rolling again. That should shake up Spurs a bit. And he could really get at the opposition. Well, that'll be a free kick. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Just cutting off the supply. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And offside, just as he was ready to pounce. Well, they've decided to make a change. Alex Lacazette coming onto the pitch. Number 14, Pierre Emery Son. Palmed away by the keeper. Kieran Tierney succeeded in keeping it in play. Will it be? He's got to score. And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect goalkeepers to save everything at their near post, but on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. So, a half an hour remaining. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Song! A goal! And it's very much game on here! Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. 
chance for him to get in behind, maybe. That's part of his game, holding the ball up and waiting for teammates to arrive on the scene. Partey. Now he must favour the cross. Kieran Tierney. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. 20 minutes to go in this one. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Oh, a fine block. Spot on with that tackle. Kane. Superb block. Song. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, this is a very good volley. His technique is absolutely perfect. So back underway and level pegging at 3-3. Son. Harry Kane. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Lokonga. Arsenal remain on the front foot. Can they find a winning goal? And let's give credit to the defending. Getting forward. Kane. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. It's still alive. And time for the change now. Obama Yang has a go and it goes for Arsenal will that be the decider well let's take another look and wow how cleanly does he hit that the keeper was never going to save it what a good goal that is. Now having fallen behind, what sort of response will that elicit from the Spurs team? That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. Emerson. Lucas. And a poor ball. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Cross towards Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, far post. So the final whistle has sounded, and not the result Tottenham fans were hoping for. What did you make of it all? Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. Well, a leading and guiding role played by Martin Odegaard. Sensational performance on all levels. Stuart, your assessment of his production? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent. 